Hello everybody, thank you so very much for joining me today for this really super special video that I can't believe I am actually filming. It is my 100,000th view giveaway. Now, in the YouTube world, that's really not a heck of a lot when you think about the millions of views larger YouTubers get. But for me, it is an accomplishment, a milestone, this great achievement for me that I never thought I could achieve. And um, it's kind of hot today after like the 40 degree weather we've been having now. I'm kind of sweating, so if the beads of sweat start to form like on my upper lip where they always do, just, just ignore them and, and have sympathy for me. <laughs> Before we get into the giveaway that I'm going to do, I just needed to take a few minutes to say a couple of things. I've been on YouTube about a year and three quarters. It will be two years in September. And when I first started my channel, I talked to people about it and they're like, uh, yeah, okay, all right. And when I recorded my first video, it wasn't, wasn't very good. And I was going to take it down, but I left it up because I need to see where I was, how far I've came, and where I am now. I did have a camera. I didn't know how to edit. Not a clue. I didn't even know how to get the video onto my camera. And so it was like I had to split it in two because I, I didn't realize that uh, you couldn't combine them. And I thought I knew how to edit. I thought I could edit on YouTube. Wrong. Not so. So my first video wasn't very good. I don't know if my personality came through because I, I just was unsure about a lot of things. And I think that first video maybe got 17 views. <laughs> and I was like, okay, and no comments or anything. And then suddenly I started to get more, and I, I don't actually think I posted another video for at least two weeks, because I was discouraged and unsure. I would actually have to say that the first four months I didn't post regularly at all. And that was because I didn't have a good background. I still don't have a good background, but I've made it work. If you go back through my old videos, you will see all the different places I attempted to film to find not only a, a conducive place for lighting and everything else, but a comfortable spot. Some of the places I filmed, like we're in my bathroom. Remember, my bathroom is this big, so I was like sitting on the edge of the tub and, and literally the camera was like here. And it's been an interesting and amazing journey. I never thought I would actually get more than 17 views, never mind 100,000, or actually I'm almost up to 110,000 now. I also never thought that I would make the connections that I've made here, that I would meet virtually the most wonderful people that you guys are. And I know I tell you that often, and I have to tell you that often, because you deserve to hear it. I don't know if people tell you how wonderful you are on a daily basis, but I feel the need to. You guys are there through the good and the bad. You support me. You lift me up. You make my days worthwhile. You make the hard work that is YouTube that I do so worth it on a daily basis. And again, I need to tell you that. I don't know what the future of my channel will be. I know that I'm going to be here for as long as I possibly can be, and I hope that I keep growing so I can make more friends that I've made in you guys, but you're all just, like, amazing people, and it's so, it fills my heart to know that, wow, out there in the world, all across this country, all across the world, because I do have some international subscribers, that you guys are there. There's not all the hate. There's not all the animosity. There's not all the negativity. I do this to lift my life up, to keep my mind occupied, to bring me joy. And I'm hoping that I bring joy to you. And I hope that I lift you up and bring you joy and take your mind off of the troubles that you may have. So it's a symbiotic relationship. And I know that it is fulfilling my life. And I hope that I fulfill yours. So now that I've talked for a good amount of time, which I hope you don't mind, I would love to get into the stuff that I am doing for the giveaway, all the things I have purchased myself over time, and or there might be some from a subscription box, but remember I don't get those boxes for free. I do purchase them. And guess who had lipstick on her teeth? 
it wouldn't be a video without it. I wish I could do more stuff for the giveaway. I do what I can. I hope you guys appreciate it and I hope whoever wins really, really enjoys it because I love seeing stuff and saying, oh, that would be cool for a giveaway. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing that we have is a kit from BH Cosmetics. It was from the Royal Affair collection. It is this super cool, I don't want to take everything out because, you know, like I don't want to put my paws over everything, but it's an adorable sparkly case with a pom-pom and it has four lipsticks in it. I actually have one for myself and I used it in a video not that long ago, so this is really cool. And you can't have just one sparkly case, but you need two sparkly cases. So also from the Royal Affair collection is a, is it a blush and highlight palette? Yeah, it's a blush and highlight palette and it comes with a brush as well in the sparkly case with a fuzzy, fuzzy pom-pom ball. And I'm sorry, but it looks like when I was stacking the stuff, the case split. I do apologize for that, but I have not opened this. Sticking with the Royal Affair theme from BH Cosmetics, I said if I'm going to get it, you're going to get a kit, you may as well get the whole kit. I really wanted this brush set for myself, but I didn't get it. Instead, I got it for you guys. It is how many pieces? It's the 10-piece brush set, and it's all sealed again, so I'm not going to open it. But it's got this cool ombre metal-looking um, handles and everything. It's a full face, and it's got this really cool angle brush, which, again, I wanted for myself, but I didn't get it. And I really think you'll enjoy that. The package wouldn't be complete without the Royal Affair eyeshadow palette. I have one for myself, but I have a whole bunch of eyeshadow palettes that I'm waiting to try on camera. So I have not tried this. It did get good reviews. I do like BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. Almost all of the ones that I have. And yeah, so now you guys have, will have, somebody will have the entire collection, which is super cool. Just in case you don't have enough blushes, <laughs> and this is also from BH Cosmetics, and it's their Nude Blush Palette. And I think you also get some highlighters in here. Some of the colors are dark enough to be bronzy colors. I just thought it was super cool. I don't have this one. Again, I wanted to get it for myself, but I was like, no, you are buying things for the giveaway. Stop it, Leanne. So I did, and I got this for you guys. I think they're going to be really good. I have them, some of these in my Nouveau Neutrals eyeshadow kit that I have from BH Cosmetics and it has some blushes in it and I really do enjoy them. Now with some random things. I saw this at Ulta and I love this perfume and hopefully you guys will. This is the perfume body lotion. Beautiful is the scent and it's a really really big bottle. Do I want to open it? Nah, I'll leave it closed. It, I, I love beautiful. It's an old um oldie book goodie perfume and I hope you guys will enjoy that. These guys are my life and I'm including both of them so that you can do your custom mix custom custom mixing too. They are the NYX Pro Foundation Mixers. You have a white one which will um, lighten up your foundations that are too dark and then you have a warmth one which will darken your foundations if they are too light. So I'm sending along both of them because I don't know whose skin tone I am going to be giving this to, so I want you to have both. And I said these really, really come in handy. None of my foundations truly match my skin tone. I have such a very hard time matching it because of the undertones. So you guys will love these. You'll get hooked on them, and they last like forever. Since I've been give, since I've been giving, oi! Since I gave you brushes, you're going to need something to clean said brushes, and I have one of these myself. This is a dupe for the Sigma brush cleanser that fits in your sink. The Sigma one is a little bit more luxurious. It has the actual cutout that goes around the sinkhole, sinkhole, <laughs> the drain in the sink. This one's got a curve, but I mean, come on, it doesn't matter. This is a really good brush cleaner and it has the suction cups that stick to your sink so it doesn't slide all over the place. You know how often I clean my brushes, at least I tell you how often I clean my brushes and you guys are going to love this. Because one eyeshadow palette isn't enough, you have seen me and heard me talk about this palette. This is the Mad for Mad eyeshadow, pa eyeshadow, can't talk. eyeshadow palette in Holy Smokes. This is a gorgeous palette. ELF does some eyeshadows well and some not so much. These palettes happen to be the ones they, they do beautifully. I have had this palette for about a year and a half and I still use it and still love it. Especially my favorites are these two colors in here. They just create such a gorgeous smoky look and I love them. We're talking about eyes. You might want to wear mascara. 
I'm pretty sure you can assume there's going to be some mascara in here, but you need an eyelash curler, and this is the eyelash curler um, from QVC. It's really tiny, it's really cute, and it has these little grippies on here, and this one actually fits my eye really well where a lot of them don't, so I thought you guys might like one. Sticking with the eyes, I have another one of these Ofra eyeliner pencils. This is in a tealy, bluish color. I do like them, but I received several of them in my mystery kits, and I don't need a whole bunch of blue eyeliners, so I have that in there. Now, I know this isn't universal, but I am hoping that it will work for the majority of you. I couldn't buy every, you know, eyebrow color, so you're getting the It Cosmetics Brow Power. Of course, you need a mascara, so I have the Ulta Beauty Limitless Lashes. I do like this one, and obviously so does my phone. <laughs> yeah, we'll just put that on silent. Of course, you need something to put your makeup on, so I have the Ofra Expanding Makeup Sponge in this cute little minty green color. I also received several of these in my mystery bags. And why not some primers to go along with it? We have the travel size version of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is the very silicone-y one. And then just a little baby sample of the Professional from Benefit Primer. You might need some moisturizer, so I have a travel size or mini sample of the Caudalie Vino Source Moisturizer. You white mana, white mana, no, might wanna <laughs> clean up all your makeup. So I have the Skin Fix Foaming Oil Cleanser that I think you guys will like. I did get this on sale at TJ Maxx because it was from Christmas, but it's hand lotion or body lotion, and I really like hemp's, so I thought you guys would like this. It's the Hemp's Candy Cane um, Lotion in a mini travel size. Just in case you don't wear a blue eyeliner, of course, I have a liquid eyeliner from Ico, and it is in black. If you happen to be of the oily skinned community, you might enjoy some of these little blotting papers from... Um, Ulta Beauty, and it comes with a little hair tie, which I thought was absolutely adorable. I have these, and I didn't realize that there was a hair tie, but it's cute. Then I really like this clarifying mask from Sephora. I have gone through several of these, so I wanted a chance for you guys to try it out. So it, it's got this um, very clay-like texture, so you might like it if you like slapping some mud on your face. Of course, now all of those eyeshadows will need an eyeshadow primer, and I really like the Ulta Beauty eyeshadow primers. I don't like the Urban Decay, and this is an eighth of the price, well, maybe a third of the price, and this is the, the Tinted Eye Primer, and I don't know what color it is in, but if you are using like darker colors on your eyes, this is really great because it also, with the darker color, cancels out any redness or veining that you have. Then, of course, we need some lip products. I got several of these in my Ofra surprise bags, and this is just a clear gel, moisturizing, so lip gloss. If you just want to go with clear, maybe some of you don't like colors, you might like that. I do have here a Burt Bees, Burt's Bees lip balm. It's a tinted lip balm, in case you want to go light on the lip color. I have a Stila liquid lipstick in the color Aria. I have another um, Ofra product, and this is another liquid lip color, liquid lipstick. I think mocha, but I can't promise. And then this is from Real Hearts, the I Am Adaptable. It's a gorgeous red, but I decided that I have several reds that I don't wear that often. I'm trying to get into them, as you can see, even though one transferred onto my lip. Um, teeth before, but that's okay. So I thought maybe one of you guys would enjoy. And they're all going to come in the little Sephora bag that we used to get our play stuff in. These are not enough for my hair. Um, so this is from Dry Bar. They're not cheap, but this is the Southern Bell Shampoo and Conditioner. Also, I have some Wen Conditioning Cleansers in here as well. We all need some face masks and we all need to look like little baby seals. So I have two of those here. Of course, you know I'm including one of the dry shampoos that I cannot use, so you'll be getting this. Only problem with shipping this is that it has to ship ground. So if you are an international winner and I can't ship this air, then I will replace this with something else, just so you're aware. Because aerosol cans sh can't ship. Aerosol cans... Aerosol cans cannot ship air. Yeah, we got that. 
I am going to include one of the Arbonne, Ar, I can't, oh my goodness gracious, the Arbonne mirrors. I used to sell Arbonne. I had a bunch of these mirrors that I had bought to give to clients and now I want to give them to you guys. I love these mirrors because they're so thin. And then for the last thing, I was shopping in CVS and I saw this. No, I was shopping in Walgreens and I saw this and you know how much I love cute things. I love I love cute things. And I said, I have to get a cute thing for all of you guys. Is that not the cutest freaking sleeping mask you've ever seen in your entire life? I mean, it's not a cat, but it is a bunny. And who does not want to look like a bunny when they go to bed? It has an adjustable back and everything. So, yeah, I saved that for last. So I know it's not a ton of stuff, guys, but it is the best that I can do right now. I wanted to say thank you. Um, I think it's got a pretty decent value to it. I mean, these guys were, I don't even have the price on it. It's, I spent my own money and I wanted to get back to you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoy it tremendously. Now, unfortunately, of course, there are rules. I cannot use the links to the other websites to do the giveaways. So the rules are not hard. All you have to do is be a subscriber to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below just letting me know, you know, what you enjoy seeing on my channel. You can even let me know something that you'd like to see more. You're subscribed to my channel. I want to listen to you guys. So maybe let me know some of your video ideas. Anything like that. It doesn't have to be elaborate. I just love to hear from you guys. I think I finally caught up on 95% of my comment responding. Also, please leave me either your Instagram handle or your email address. If you don't feel comfortable leaving your email address publicly, please email me at my email address, which is in the description box, and put the title giveaway. And then in the body of the email, please tell me your name and that you would like to be entered into the giveaway. And I will do that way. I completely respect that people do not want necessarily their email addresses being public. But again, I still need to know and be sure that it's you and not somebody scamming trying to pretend that they are you. Here are some more rules. This will be an international giveaway. Which it is extremely expensive. The last thing I had to send international was about $75 to send, but I do want to do it because I do have followers and people who comment and whom that I appreciate. I don't want to leave you guys out. In the future, I may have to do something different, like maybe give you a gift card or something like that digitally, because the $75 is really hard to, to handle. But of course, it is, um, it's going to be open to everybody because, again, I appreciate all of you. You do have to be 18 years of older or I must get parental permission for you to enter the giveaway. I do need two weeks after the close of the giveaway to be able to send it to you because I usually have to wait till my next paycheck to get paid to do so. I unfortunately cannot be responsible for lost, damaged, misdelivered mail. I also internationally cannot be responsible for taxes, duties, and fees that might apply. I, when I ship it, I will email you a copy of your tracking number, and then from there, unfortunately, I cannot be responsible further from that. The giveaway will last for two weeks from the date that this video goes live. On the date that it goes live, I will pin a comment in the, well, comment section saying the date and then letting you know what the close date is. Of course, you can also see because once it goes live, that's on there forever. You can see when the video was posted. Two weeks from that date will be the close date. The only reason I'm doing that is because I have to edit this and I have my 17 jobs so I never know when I'm going to be able to get this up and I don't want to put any information out there falsely. When the video ends I will contact the person through their method uh, that they have left me and then I will be posting a video within a couple of days of the close of the video. You just have to give me a chance to get my stuff together so that I can do that. Okay, I think I covered all of the bases. I know you have to put out all that legal stuff because I've seen people get in trouble for things and I don't want that. And I think I'm sweating profusely. I probably have lipstick on my teeth again. Oh, no. Wow. And, and not this time. 
But again, guys, I don't know how to say thank you enough except saying it verbally on a daily basis, thanking you for spending your time with me, thanking you for being here, for subscribing, for being my kitten family that I am blessed to have. And the only other way I can thank you is by doing giveaways. And yes, of course, there will be more giveaways coming. I want to do one for my 2,000 subscriber giveaway. And hopefully that will come soon because then I can do another one of these and I can, you know how it works. So guys, whatever part of the world you are in on and around, I hope you have a truly amazing day. I hope you have a truly amazing rest of the week. I love you guys tremendously and I will talk to you very, very soon. Much love, guys. Bye.